This idea came into my head where I saw the octopus as the kind of biological mandala, but I wanted to take it further and I ended up with all these octopus crowns in my studio. <laughs> they look great, but I didn't really know what to do with them. Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm your host, Roddy Schrock. Today, I'm joined by pioneer Victoria Vesna and conceptual artist Jonathan Keats to discuss BCI and the future of thought. BCI is a computer-based system that uses brain signals and translates them into commands that are then relayed to a device to carry out an action. Victoria, can you talk a little bit about how you bring together areas of neuroscience, art, and unfold that in your own practice. I was super fascinated with scientists. This kind of a, a closet geek, if you will, and started interviewing scientists about creative process. But all of this was in parallel to my artwork. At some point, it started merging. I started having a sense of the importance of technology in expanding consciousness. This started me on this kind of a path of exploring BCI, which really is about that flesh technology relationship. Jonathan, how would you describe the work that you do and why do you consider yourself someone who practices thought experiments? The art world was the one place I found that was sufficiently undefined that I could do anything. So I started to work with Hyundai through the LACMA Art and Technology Lab. I realized that there were two different trajectories that you could trace in terms of where technology was taking us. One of which is artificial intelligence. That really is where the self-driving car comes into play. But Equally, there is this cyborg revolution, this way in which technology is becoming more intimately a part of our lives. And so I said, what if we were to think about how human and machine could combine in a way where the car becomes my body and my mind becomes the brain that is operating the car? Victoria, what do you find most inspiring about Jonathan's work? Well, first of all, that he has no cell phone or ever had one and no car. And then having the distance of perception by pulling yourself away from the experience, you're providing a possibility of a new way to move. I really appreciate your observation. What really is exciting me about your work is what it means to communicate through means that are not those that we're familiar with. The octopus becomes in your work a sort of ambassador that allows for interaction between people that people wouldn't have otherwise. And to me, that feels absolutely right, that we can only really have the sorts of conversations that we need to have by bringing non-human entities into that conversation. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.